Yeah, hey everyone, Rob the Axe Man here, Axe Man's Fishing and Adventures. And um, we've been doing a few hacks while we're in lockdown 6.0, still can't get out on the water, it's going to be at least another month. So we've been uh, looking at soft plastics and uh, jig heads. And if you're anything like me, you've probably got quite a few soft plastics that you've used and just thrown in your box and they're all filthy dirty and looking pretty ordinary. So I'm just going to show you today a quick way how to clean those up and get them looking Mickey Mouse and so you can put them on and use them again rather than throwing them out. So what we're going to use is a little bit of methylated spirits. Child lock. Just into a little plastic container. So I'm just going to throw them, a few of them in. Yeah, you tend to use them and then, you know, you swap, swap them over for another one, you leave them in the bottom of your tackle box and they get pretty filthy dirty. Um, this one in particular is one of my favourites. It's uh, one you can't even buy anymore and uh, really red hot on redfin. So um, I love it. So I'm going to keep these going for a while longer. Just give them a bit of a move around in the methylated spirits. Now I've... Um, Obviously, do a little bit of airbrushing when I make my main lures. So I've got these little, little tiny wire brushes. Um, you don't need that. You can just get a rag or rub them with your fingers. You can already see that this one's coming up pretty, pretty good. I'll just give it a bit of a brush. A little bit of methylated spirits. Doesn't need much to clean it off these. And later on, I'll show you a way just to get rid of the smell, make up your own. own scent for them. So as you can see, there we go. It was looking something like that, pretty grubby, but pretty quickly you can get it clean, ready for use again. All right, so it's not a lot of hard work, just a bit of time, throw it in there, let them soak for a little bit, give them a bit of a wipe and a bit of a brush and clean them off with some hot soapy water at the end to get rid of that methylated spirit smell. And um, I'll show you a way to make up something, a bit of special sauce to put on top of them so they don't have that methylated spirit smell. So, yeah, it doesn't take much. You can see that one's almost clean already. And you know, the price of these things, it, generally between 10 and 15 bucks a bag. Um, they're not cheap, so there's no use just, you know, using them once and changing over to a different soft plastic and throwing these ones out, so just a little bit of effort. There we go, you can see those two now, they're perfect. Just one thing when you are cleaning them, just don't leave them in there for too long. Um, you know, plastics will start to go a bit sticky and you probably ruin them. So put them in for a couple of minutes, get in there, clean them. You can see that that one's coming up real nice. It was pretty dirty before and pretty hacked, so. Just get in there, make sure you dry them off. A little towel, a little rag, just dry them off nice and clean. And just leave them out to dry if they as you can see, that's most of them there. All right, so you can see there, they're all cleaned up, nice and pretty, ready to go. And you can just see from um, those few soft plastics there, the color of that methylated spirits or the gunk and crap that was on them, so. We've, um, that we had out before that have all come up pretty good and ready to be used again. Well worth the effort, guys. Have a crack yourselves and uh, get your gear ready. Catch you out in the water soon. G'day everyone, Rob the Axe Man here from Axe Man's Fishing Adventures. Still in lockdown 6.0, looking like at least another month before I'm going to be able to get on the water. I'm just too far away from a boat ramp. I'm at least 20 kilometres away. It's only 15 kilometres at the moment, but then you need to be able to fish as well, so I need another 5-10 kilometres on top of that. So I'm looking at 30 
kilometres before I can even go fishing. So hopefully by the 26th of October we might get out on the water. Now, just another quick hack today. I'm trying to get prepared for the season. Uh, if you're anything like me, you've probably got a pile of jig heads that are all corroded and rusty. That's what they look like. You can see they've got that white sort of powdery sort of look to them. Some have got a little bit of rust and things. No matter what you do, they seem to go that same way all the time. So it's just a quick little uh, way of cleaning those up and making them all shiny and new again so you can use them. They are quite expensive. So, small container. This is the, the secret ingredient. White vinegar, let's pull that into there. It's about enough to cover them all. So I'm putting in about, probably about 20 of these straight off the bat. Now the hooks aren't really rusty, it's just the, uh, the jig ends that are corroded and a little bit of rust on them as well so as long as I've got enough to cover those so you can see there that they're all uh, all in there all covered now um, depending on how bad they are at least leave them in for 24 hours um, I like to leave them in for two or three days if I'm not in any rush for them just let them soak and let them take all that corrosion off and um, once they come out, they come up brand new. These ones, um, you'll see I had a photo done just before of a pile of them. I've just finished them and I've just cleaned them all back up and they're all shiny like new and they were probably worse than these ones. So um, it's well worth having a, a little crack if you've got a bit of time, throw them in the, uh, the white vinegar and um, let them soak and a couple of days, just give them a bit of a rub and a clean and um, they'll come up pretty good. So I'll show you the final result when I take them out, probably be two or three days. So you can see there, I've just put those ones in and it's already turning cloudy, it's already started to work and that's only after about five minutes. So um, we'll see how they come up in a, a couple of days time, but you can already see it reacting there and starting to take away the corrosion. Okay, so it's been a few days since we uh, started soaking these jig heads and you can see there See in there that the water's gone quite milky and uh, cloudy. So I'm just going to pull a few of these out. Dry them off on the tea towel here. And you remember all of these had a fair bit of rust and a fair bit of um, of that white sort of corrosion on there. So now it's been soaking for oh, probably about three days, or if you're going to left them in there for. Um, just give them a slight rub. Don't need to be going too crazy. And as you can see, that one there almost looks brand new. Nice and silver, no rust. It's, uh, it's got none of the corrosion on it, and that's ready to whack in the box and use again. So I'll just grab another one there. When they first come out, they're a bit sort of dark and they just clean up. A little bit of a rub, not too much. A little bit of the rust even comes off. And there you have it. Nice new, can be used again rather than be thrown out. So I suggest if you've got a pile of um, jig heads like that in your box, like I had, you just seem to throw them in after you use them, you're quickly changing soft plastics if you've got a bite on or trying to find fish. You throw them in your box, they end up not getting used and you might as well clean them up. That's all it is. Nice and easy. Got the ball ones as well and they'll be uh, ready for me to use with some soft plastics. So a nice little hack, quick and easy there guys, and uh, clean up your jig heads and you're ready to go. See you on the water.